simplified, simplified speech, speech number, number 166, 166. Table, manners. table manners featuring, featuring Andrew, Andrew and Suzanne. And so Suzanne, Suzanne, today our topic is table manners. So Suzanne, today our topic is table manners. Why don't we start our conversation off by talking about some of the common table manners that we follow in North America. Why don't we start our, our conversation off by talking about some of the common table manners that we follow in North America. Of course, you and I, we are both. Of course, you and I, we are both. North Americans, North right? Americans, I'm Canadian, right? you're American. I'm Canadian and you're American. And I think and our I table think manners are pretty table much manners exactly the same. In the are two pretty much exactly the same. Countries? In I the two countries, I think our table manners are pretty much exactly the same. I think... Our table manners are pretty much exactly the same. Are pretty much exactly the same. I think our table manners are pretty much exactly the same. Pretty much exactly the same in the two countries. I mean, at least when I visited America, I. I mean, at least when I visited America. At least. I visited America. Never noticed anything that's really different in regard to table manners. I've never noticed anything that's really different in regard to table manners. At least when I visited America, I've never noticed anything that's different, that's really different in regard to table manners. <laughs> but Suzanne, you've lived in both countries, so maybe. But Suzanne, you've lived in both countries. But Suzanne, you've lived in both countries. You have. Would so you... maybe you have. Would you say they're pretty much exactly the same in that regard? Would you say they are pretty much exactly the same in that regard? Would you say they are pretty much exactly the same in that regard? Yeah, I really do think so. I think. Yeah, I really do think so. I think. Everyone washes their hands for sandwiches and things. I think everyone washes their hands for sandwiches and things. We use our we hands. We use our hands, but. We use our hands, but. For the most part, we for use. For the most part, we use. Forks and forks knives and, and things like and that, things napkins. Like that. So napkins. It's really, so it's really generally the same, the same. I would say. I would say. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah, I agree. I haven't. Haven't noticed, noticed any, differences any differences in regards, in regards to, to table manners, table between, manners between, between Canada and the USA. Yeah, I agree. I haven't noticed any differences in regard to table manners between Canada and the USA. <laughs> but that's not to say that there aren't some differences from other countries, right? I know. But that's not to say that there aren't some differences from other countries, right? But that's not to say that. But that's not to say that. That's not to say that. That's not to say that. <clears throat> but that's not to say that. But that's not to say that there aren't some differences from other countries, right? But that's not. That's not to say that. That's not to say that there aren't. There aren't some differences. There aren't any differences from other countries, right? But that's not to say that there aren't some differences. From other countries, right? I know in Europe and in Asia and Africa. I know in Europe and in Asia and Africa and uh, in India, all India. of these places have different etiquette and different. All of these places have different etiquette and different 
rules around, different rules around eating, eating and what is polite and what is, polite and what is, considered, and what is considered rude. rude. So, so maybe we will start just because we do have a global audience. We have li- so maybe we'll just we will start just because we do we do have a global audience audience. We have listeners, listeners from all, from over, the all place. over the place. So maybe we should talk a little bit. So maybe we should talk a little bit about what, about is, what is polite, polite in, our, in culture, our culture, Suzanne. Culture, Suzanne. So, so what kind of table manners come to mind? So what kind of table manners come to mind? What kind of table manners come to mind? Come to mind. <coughs> what kind of table manners come to mind when you think of this topic? When you think of this topic, what what pops into your head? What pops into your head? What pops into your head? What pops into into your head? Well, definitely making sure that you. Wash your hands before you eat, or you. Like... Well, definitely make making sure that you wash your hands before you eat, or. Well, definitely making sure that you wash your hands before you wait before you eat. Well, definitely making sure that you wash your hands before you eat, or or that you before that you, you come, before to, you a come table, to a table, maybe you're meeting a friend for dinner at a re- maybe you're meeting a friend for dinner at a restaurant. restaurant. I tend to excuse myself and say, you know what? I tend to excuse myself and say. I'm just you know going to wash my hands real quick and hands real make quick. sure that I don't bring maybe the metro. Make sure that I don't bring maybe the metro. Or whatever else I touched onto the table. Whatever else I touched onto the table. Well, I think that also going through the pandemic really helped to emphasize how... Have- I think that also going through the I think that also going through the pandemic really helped to empathize having Being clean, hands. clean hands. So that's definitely something that we do here. So that's definitely something that we do here. And, and people do put like the napkin. People do put like the napkin or... Or paper towel, paper or whatever towel they give or whatever you they, they on give you their on laps. Their laps. A, lot of times, a lot of times, not everybody, not everybody but it's pretty common it's that pretty people common put that things people on their put things lap, on their to, lap protect to, protect to protect their clothes, their clothes and just to and kind just of to kind make sure that you don't, that you don't drop, any, drop any, any spaghetti sauce or anything like or that anything on like your lap. On your lap. <laughs> yeah, especially. <laughs> someone like me who is yeah especially someone like me who is kind of a messy eater that is a must who is kind of a messy eater that is a must yeah especially someone like me who is kind of a messy eater that is a must i need to do that for sure but i I need to do that for sure but i have to say that when it comes to putting a napkin or something on my lap, I... But I have to say that when it comes to putting a napkin or something on my lap... usually only would do that at a restaurant. I don't I usually, usually do that. I usually only would do that at a restaurant. I don't usually do that at home. At home. Do you ever do that at home? Do you ever do that at home? No, I don't. No, and, I you know, don't. and you I know, see I see people wear aprons, wear aprons like while they're cooking. Like while they're I say cooking. that because I'm a messy cooker. I say that because I'm a messy cooker. I definitely splatter things and spill while I'm cooking because I. I definitely splatter things and spill while I'm cooking because. 
just really I, love I just cooking really love and I get in the zone and I, and I don't really and think don't about, really think all, about of the mess all of the mess that, that, is that is happening. And I see people, I see wearing, people aprons wearing aprons at home, at home. and I and don't do I don't that and do I that. have them and I, and I should them. use and them. I, use I think them. I would be a lot happier because I would... And I think I would be a lot happier because... Didn't splatter my clothes as much. <laughs> I wouldn't splatter my clothes as much. <laughs> but I don't use napkins on my lap at home. Okay. And but I don't use napkins on my lap at home. And it's funny it's that funny you were that talking, you were about, talking being about being a messy, a messy cooker. cooker. <laughs> you know, I just actually had to throw out a couple of t-shirts. Be- you know, I just actually had to throw out a couple of t-shirts. Because they got stained when I was because they got stained cooking at home, and I was saying when I was cooking at home, and I was saying to my wife, to want my I wife, need to buy an I need apron, to buy an apron I guess I am because also I guess I'm also a messy cooker, a messy cooker. and I could protect and I could, save I, my clothes. I could protect and save my clothes. So it's just kind of funny that you brought that up because I was. So it's just kind of funny that you brought that up because. Just thinking about that the other day as well. Because I was just thinking about that the other day as well. (coughs) Well, Suzanne, one thing also that you said that kind of... Suzanne, one thing also that you said that kind of... Sparked, sparked a thought in, a my, thought head in my head was about was washing about your hands before, coming, your hands to before table. coming to the table. Many listeners will Many know that I live in South Korea, South Korea and one thing that they do here in South Korea, which I, really Korea, which I really love. And one thing that they do here in South Korea, which I really love, is, of, is they always give, they you, always a give you a wet tissue when you come. When you they come. call it they water call tissue. It water in tissue Korean in language, Korean I don't language. know exactly what we would call it. I don't know exactly what we would call it in English. In English, maybe a wet wipe. They give you like maybe wet, maybe a wet wipe. I don't know exactly what we would call it. What we would call it in English, maybe a wet wipe. I don't know exactly what we would call it in English. I don't know exactly what we would call it in Korean. I don't know exactly what we would call it in English. I don't know exactly what we would call it in Chinese. I don't know exactly what we would call it in Japanese. I I don't know exactly what we would call it in English. Maybe a wet wipe. If you like a wet wipe when you come to the table. They give you like a wet wipe when you come to the table. To wash, to wash your hands, your hands at, the at the table. Wash. To wash your hands at the table. I noticed too many restaurants in Canada. I haven't really noticed too many restaurants in Canada. That do that. that, do but that. I think it's a but great idea. And it's I think it's a great idea, and it just. It's a nice way, a nice to, make way sure to make sure that you are that speak and span, speak and before, span you before you your enjoy meal. your meal. That's. Wonderful. That's I wonderful. Remember I remember my grandmother, my grandmother actually, actually keeping some, keeping of, those some of those in her purse, in her purse and, and handing them to us, as, them kids. To us as kids kids because kids have dirty, have hands, dirty hands most of the most time. Of the time. So, so, yeah, yeah. That, that seems like a really good idea to kind of keep it in your bag or your backpack. So, yeah, that seems like a really good idea to kind of keep it in, in your bag or your backpack. Just in case, Just especially, in case. If you're traveling, especially if you're traveling or on a backpacking trip, on some, a backpacking trip somewhere, somewhere that could be a really good thing to take with you. That could be a really good thing to take with you. <laughs> <coughs> when I think about table manners, the when I think about table manners, first thing that pops thing, into my head is a, the first thing that pops into my head is. About, about how you actually, how you actually deal, deal with, the food with the food when you are putting it into your mouth. So when you are putting it into your mouth. So like when you are chewing. So like when you are chewing. And how you essentially behave. 
and how you essentially behave. When you've got food in your mouth, right? When you've got food in your mouth, right? Like that part like of that the eating part process. Of the process. So, so big no nos, in my opinion, in my opinion for like being polite, being polite at the dinner table, is never, table to is never to chew with your mouth open. With your mouth open. Right? You right? want to keep you your, mouth, keep your closed mouth closed so that you're not, so that showing, you're not people showing people what's inside, what's your, mouth. inside your mouth. And also you don't want to be you, like... And also you don't want to be like... Loud, loud right? That sound right? that comes that sound, out of people's mouths when they chew. That sound that comes out of people's mouth when they chew. With their mouth with open. Their mouth it's open, really just... Really just... Gross, gross right? Right? <laughs> That sound that comes out of people's mouth when they chew with their mouth open, it's really just gross. Gross. Gross, right? It's gross. And also... It's gross. And also... One thing that can one thing help that with can that, help is, to with that is to not talk while your mouth talk, is full, right? Is to not talk while your mouth is full, right? So if you take so a if bite, you, take a you bite, know, and then know, someone asks you a question, and then someone asks you a question, and right. it can be challenging. Yes. It can be challenging, maybe. maybe you say, mm, to say I mm, just one second, just one you, know, second you know, and you know, mm, um, finish chewing, and then, and you're finished the chewing, and then. You can, you can answer, answer their, question their question because, because especially if especially you're out if to you're dinner, out to dinner at a restaurant, at a restaurant you are there you probably, are there to, probably have to have conversation. conversation. So you have to, so you have to kind of time kind of your, your conversation, conversation around, your, around bites your bites of food, of food so, that you don't so that you don't spit any food, spit out, any food out, out onto the table. Onto the table. Yeah, and another, yeah, another thing, thing, Suzanne, is slurping when you're eating your food, right? Like if you're eating... Pass. Yeah, and another thing, Suzanne, is slurping. When you're eating your food, right? Like pasta or noodle. If you, if you're eating pa pasta or noodles or, or soup, soup or, something. or something, in general, in general we want to try, wanna keep, try the keep the noises noise, down. That's noises considered to down. be polite table manners. In, in That's considered to be polite table manners Canada. in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing, Suzanne, is slurping. When you're eating your food, right? Like if you're eating pasta or noodles or soup or something, in general, we want to try and keep the noises down. That's considered to be polite table manners in Canada. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you, Andrew. And I wanted to ask you, Andrew. Do you ever, do you ever lift up, lift your, up bowl your bowl to like to finish, like finish the end of your soup the end or of your drink soup or the end of your the soup? End of your soup? Is that something that you do? Is that something that you do? Yes. <laughs> yes. But, but okay, this, okay, this, this actually, actually comes, into comes into the, the different table different manners table when you're, manners in, public when you're in public and table manners when you're at home because and table manners when you're at home because I think I think at home I at home, definitely I do definitely that. Do that. And, and I've lived in Korea for so live, long that I sometimes I've lived in Korea for so long that I just, I go, by just go by the way of Korean doing way of doing not things, like and that's not super like super rude to do rude that to do in that Korea. In like Korea. I see people like, do that, and I, see, I was at a restaurant. I see people do that, and I was at a restaurant <coughs> yesterday meeting yesterday, my friend for lunch, and we had meeting my friend for lunch, and a little bowl of soup that was on the side with our mate. We had a little bowl of soup that was on the side with our meal, main meal. And they didn't and even, they didn't give, us even give us a spoon, or there weren't spoons or they, on the table. You were just there weren't spoons on the table. You were just expected, expected to drink that to little drink cup of soup right from, soup, right from the little from bowl that it came with. So I do do it at home, and I do do it sometimes. So I do do it at home, and I do do it sometimes in Korea. In Korea, but. but it's really it's like really restaurant, like restaurant specific. specific, and I think if and I, I think were in that, Canada, maybe I. And I think if I were in Canada, maybe wouldn't I wouldn't if do I were that. At a nicer restaurant, I would think. If I were at a nicer restaurant, I would think that's a that's little, a bit, little too bit too much. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. It, it. I guess it depends on the restaurant. 
I asked. I guess it depends on the restaurant. Because it's I asked not something because I ever did. Something I ever did at home at or, in, home public, or in public. But Olivier, but and my partner. <laughs> Olivier, and my partner. He does it. He does it. And they and do that in they France. They do that in France. And, and sometimes, sometimes he does that he does in a that restaurant in as well. Restaurant as and well, I just well. always watch him, like, huh. I just always watch him, like, huh. I, I, I never, never, I never do I that, never but, did that, but I think it's fine. I think it's you fine. Know, it's, you know, it's great. It's great. It kind of means like I love it, it so much. I want to like, get every last drop. I love it so much. I want to get every last drop. <laughs> and, and it was just a question because it was something I noticed that. And it was just a question, because it was something I noticed that. I was not used to. I was but not that used to. Seems but totally that seems acceptable. totally acceptable. I like what, I you, like just what you just there. said there. And that is and that, that, is when, that you when you drink, you your, drink soup. your soup. And especially, I think we do this at the end, right? And especially, I think we do. Think we do this. Right, when it gets at hard end, to. Yeah. Scoop up the soup with your spoon. When it gets, when it gets hard to scoop up the soup with your soup. Spoon usually that's usually when you that's start drinking. When you it's start not drinking often it. that you get like a big. Hot, it's not often that you get like a big hot steaming, hot steaming bowl of soup bowl and just soup drink it right drink, away. <laughs> just drink it right away. Right but away. when you're towards the end and it's more. But when you're towards the end and it's more. Or convenient. Convenient. It, it does show it, that you enjoy it, it right? You're like really. In and it does show that you enjoy it, right? You're like enjoying your meal, and that's something that I've noticed in Korea. There are some slight differences about what's polite at the table and what's rude at the table. <coughs> it does show that you enjoy it, right? You're like really enjoying your meal, and. That's something that I've noticed in Korea. There are some slight differences about what's polite at the table and what's rude at the table. And I think in both cultures generally. And I think in both cult cultures generally. You don't want to make too much noise or be disgusting or with your eating. Disgusting but I have noticed here. In with your eating, but I have. But I have noticed here Korea, in Korea people that are if eating people are eating a little bit louder or like slurping their noodles or maybe drinking their soup it's or kind something of like that, that you really are enjoying your meal. it's kind of showing that you really are enjoying your meal. And people will comment like, wow. This and people will comment like, wow. Guys, like, really guys enjoying this like food. really like, enjoying this food, really enjoying his food, like it must be so, so delicious. Yeah, so, it's just yeah. like a different viewpoint, but it's interesting. And yeah, it's just like a different viewpoint, but it's interesting. It's, that's fascinating to hear that they do that in France as well. Yeah, that's fascinating to hear that they do that in France as well. Well, yeah, I think similar to my family, my Italian family. If you're eating it, kind of. Yeah, I think similar to my family, my Italian family. If you're eating it kind of fast, kind of fast that then, then it means that you're means that you're, um, you're really enjoying in, it. Really right? enjoying like it's it. It's so right? good. You you want to really just like it's so good. You want to really just devour just it. Devour whereas it. when I go to France, when, for example, they eat when very I go slow. To France, they take example, a bite, put down their. They eat very slow. They take a bite, put down their fork and knife, fork and knife chew, it, chew it, maybe look at maybe you, look listen, at you to story, listen to a story, take another take bite, another bite, you know, you know oh, really? put, put down. down. Yeah, it's very slow. Yeah, it's wow. very slow. And, and that, was that was something that I was surprised, that surprised at when I first, when went, I first to went to France and, and ate out a dinner, ate out or, a dinner even or even at mother my mother-in-law's house. house. I was very surprised, I was very surprised at how at slow people ate, people ate. And they don't and have they large portions. So they're really savoring so they each really bite, savoring each in, bite a smaller in a smaller amount, amount and in a slower, and in a slower pace. pace. That's probably That's a probably much better, a much way, better to way to eat. 
in terms of like digesting, digesting your, your food properly, properly and not overeating. And not overeating. I could also see I that, being a, that being, like being a little bit uncomfortable, like if you're meeting your partner's parents for the first time. Like if you're meeting your parents, if if you're meeting your partner's parents for the first time, or something like that, or something yeah, like that, really you have to like tiny really slowly like this the food tiny, down slowly, depending on tiny little bites and get the food down slowly, depending on, on the social arrangement the social of the dinner party. It could be of the dinner party. It could be maybe. More awkward, but more I think, awkward. yeah, I'm not a doctor, awkward. but I would think. But I think, <coughs> yeah, I'm not a doctor, but that's a healthier way to eat than you know. I would think that's a healthier way to eat than you know. Sometimes the sometimes way that we do in North America, where we just eat a lot and we eat quickly. It's true, and I... and we eat quickly.